Hey everybody, well Christmas is coming so I'm adding some new items onto my Etsy store for the Spicy Metal Works. I've made some different things this time as you'll see, um, but I'm just going to get straight into it and go through the things that I've made. So first thing, clock 16, better late than never. Uh, this is made out of parts from Betty, the stand is. Uh, there is one car part in there, which is that domed uh, differential type nut, uh, gear. And the clock itself was donated to me by Musical Jess on Twitter. I'm now going to quickly show you a video from when I was making this because you can see it all moving and it makes so much more sense. And what's quite nice about this one is that oh, stay. it spins on the bottom but it also spins in the middle and this one spins but the dog clutch from the gearbox still works so it'll lock together. So there you go, pretty cool I think. Available on the store now. Next up is Clock 22, which is made from a rental sprocket with a hand-brushed aluminium face, as you can see. It's available on the store now. Note that the wooden stands you see in the pictures of these clocks is not included, it's just for display purposes. Next up is Clock 23, which as you can see from the uh, Sunstar 48, oh, there is quite a big sprocket. Hand-brushed aluminium face, that's been lacquered as well. A lot of the clocks that I'm selling in this batch, I've left quite good patina on them, a bit of originality rather than taking them all back. So you can see there is some discoloration in places, but that's naturally there from the use in the way that it's been made. Clock 24. This is a nice one because it's got 12 nice segments. You can see the, the arms that go out perfectly placed out for a clock. When they made this sprocket, they knew I was going to get it and turn it into a clock. This is available now on the store. Clock 25. As you can see, this is stamped with BMW markings. From my checking of those numbers, this comes off a BMW S1000RR, but it could be a different S1000 maybe, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it's off the RR. But anyway, it's in its original factory black, it's got a nice wear pattern on the outside, hand brushed aluminium face that's been lacquered, it's 44 teeth, pretty cool I think, available on the store now. Okay, a new line of products that I'm just starting uh, because I want to start incorporating some wood into my working techniques uh, because there's items I want to make that are com going to combine wood and metal in the future. So I thought, why not start with something and something really cool? Here is a bowl, nice wooden bowl. I didn't make the bowl myself, to be clear. Uh, but this ring is off a Tornado fighter jet engine, fighter bomber engine for the RAF. It's got markings on it. I can't tell you exactly what engine part it is, but it looks like it could be part of a bearing or something, but it shows uh, marks and colorations from where it was used. And I've paired it up with this bowl, and I actually think it looks awesome. Great to have next to your bed, or on the side, or on a desk, wherever. Okay, next up, and made from the same model of engine as the last piece, these are from the RB199, which is the engine which is used in the Tornado fighter jet, fighter bomber jet. Uh, these are stage 2 blades. Uh, I, when I picked these up, I got four of them. Well, actually got five. I'm keeping one for myself. Uh, I got four of them, and I've made display bases for each one. Each one is being listed individually on the store because each base is different in its pattern and unique from the way that I've made them. They're made from a soft wood, which I've shaped, sanded. Uh, I've actually done a burnt finish on them and then waxed them. As you can see, I've put a little display peg there so you can just lift the blade on and off the base. I think it's just a really cool item to have. As I say, each one will come with its unique base which you can choose by selecting the exact one you want. It will come with one of the blades. The blades are marked with the same number as the paperwork which I'll send you a copy of that I got. Uh, and they will, each one's also got an individual sort of serial number on it. I personally think these are really cool little things. They're made of Inconel, I believe, uh, which if you look into it, Inconel is a type of metal that basically can take silly, silly heats. Uh, obviously it needs to if it's inside a jet engine. And you can't machine these with normal tools. I believe these are done with EDM. No, no, not the music. Uh, electro discharge machining. So yeah, four of those available. If you buy one, the one you see in the picture is the one that you will get. Okay, and last but not least, the keychains are back. I've made a hundred more of them. They're very, very popular. I'm sure they're going to sell out very quickly. However, this time I'm not doing any stickers with them. I'm just selling one keychain on its own delivered to you. I think they're perfect for, uh, for stocking fillers, secret Santas, or just a little present for yourself.
Now, as I always have to point out, because some smart ass will point this out, even though I've always pointed it out, uh, don't use these on your bike keys because they could scratch your paint. They're designed to go on your, your you know, house keys, work keys, something like that. Something to show that you are a biker when you've got nothing to show that you are a biker. As you walk down the street and accidentally nod at someone on a bike who goes past you, then looks at you like a complete weirdo. Come on, we've all done it, haven't we? Nope, just me then. So there you go, that's everything that's being added to the store. Now, giving our closeness to Christmas, this might be your last chance to get stuff before Christmas. I am going to try and get some more things out before Christmas, but I've probably released them one by run, one rather than in batches, so I can get as much out as possible. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Please share this video. Please go to the Spicy 110 Metalworks uh, Facebook and Instagram pages. Follow those. Help share things. Share some posts. It really helps grow uh, this little business idea which I started a few months back and it seems to be going okay. And I've actually impressed myself a little bit with the range of different things that I've made and how much I'm enjoying doing it because it's a lot of fun. A lot of work, but a lot of fun. Catch you next time.